Hey everyone, welcome to d.py. This is the second video of OpenAI series. In this video, we will build a chatbot using ChatGPT with custom knowledge base, which means you will be able to build a chatbot who can answer your queries with your private data. Okay, so here I have a txt file, text file that have some information about me and about my YouTube channel. Uh, it's saying I'm so hell my YouTube channel is d.py there is some description I have copied from my YouTube about section I have included the URL of my YouTube channel I have included the title of my first video and the number of views it have at the moment and the count of subscribers so this is all the information about which chat GPT itself does not know okay now let's try chat GPT itself Hi, how many subscribers t dot pi have? Okay. See, it is not able to answer. Okay. But we will make it work. No worries. Let's get into the code. So, here I have a simple file. Over here, I have created a file called basic custom knowledge chatbot here i have imported open ai i have set the api key that is picked from my environment variable so i am not going to write any code i will use chat gpt to write everything for me so let's get into it first of all we need to read the text file which i just showed to you guys let's ask chat gpt for a code write a python code to read a text file and its content okay now chat gpt is going to give me some piece of code which we can use okay that's it let's copy the code get back to the editor let me increase the size so you can see it okay i'm going to paste the code as it is i will replace this example.txt with my file name my file is called custom knowledge.txt okay so let's replace this uh, let's replace the useless comments okay let's try this code and see if it actually read the content in the text file let's save it and run it here it is this piece of code successfully read the content inside the txt file so, okay so now let's call chat gpt api for that let's get into open ai documentation and get the piece of code from there if you go to their documentation here you can see chat completion and you will see this piece of code here copy this and paste it over here let's remove this print statement so this is how we can call gpt 3.5 api let's call it res equals and here i am going to say please answer my queries according to the given context slash n and i will type context dot format content I'm going to pass this content over here as a context and I have provided the instruction to GPT 3.5 to answer my queries according to this given context okay so here let's say for the assistant message let's add a dummy message saying that says okay sure okay so here here we will append our query which we want to ask okay let me create a method for it let's say def my chatbot this function will take a query from user query and it will append this query over here and let's print the results for the time being since we have this function i want to return res over here and let's call this function now answer equals my chatbot hi 
hi there who hi there who is so help okay let's try to print this answer now and see what we get okay i got a response now let me let me print this content only so it's easier for us to see what is the response i will type choices zero message content okay let's run it again here it is Sohel is the owner of YouTube, YouTube channel D.Py that focuses on pri providing information and engaging videos on Python programming, web development, machine learning and AI. Cool. You see how it was able to answer based on my customized data which I provided over here as a text file. Basically in this file we have very small data. Okay. It's just few lines of uh, information I am providing so it is easily able to answer it but what will happen if there is a huge document you want to provide as a information maybe hundreds of pages then it will definitely exceed the 4000 token limits for the API of GPT 3 or 3.5 in that case we used to divide the document into chunks and use embedding techniques to get it working we will cover those topics in our future videos but for the time being it was a very simple chatbot now let's try to ask some more question how many subscribers d.py have let's see if it is able to answer it as per the given context d.py has only four subscribers at the moment cool it's able to answer as per this information we provided make sure when you are providing your information in a text file or word document or pdf anything it is not more than around 3000 tokens or so in case you have large documents which you want to provide as an information i will cover those topics in our future videos i will show you how to bypass the 4000 token limits and build your own customized chatbot who will be able to fetch information from all those documents and provide answers accordingly okay thank you so much for watching guys see you bye bye